What is up guys? True Slayer is back here today guys and today guys we're gonna be talking about the up-and-coming crossover Shield Hero. So let's go ahead and get started. In today's video guys we're gonna be talking about the Shield Hero units coming with this up-and-coming update. Now these units are already in the game and instead of telling you about the global stats I'm gonna be telling you about the buffs that they got on JP in today's video because most likely with this update they will be getting the JP buffs but unfortunately global has not announced if they're getting those buffs yet but i'm gonna go based on the fact i'm pretty sure since they recently got the shield hero crossover coming back on jp they will be updating them on global but i do apologize if some of the information i'm saying does not match up with that so starting off guys with nafumi he's a light human unit his stats at max are 6901 his attack is 2012 and defense 3009 for his slots, he's toting a 5-star defense, 5-star heal, and a 4-star support. For his skill, guys, it has a 12-second cooldown in it. And for 12 seconds, he heals for 10% of damage taken and increases freeze and paralyze resist by 100%. For his art guys, for 20 seconds, increases allies damage by 25% and redirects allies damage taken to self and gains the damage barrier that negates 9,000 damage to self with a zero break on that art. For his true art guys, it has a high chance to inflict faint. And if one enemy is inflicted with faint, it does 33,000% dark damage physical and will ignore 100% of the enemy's defense with a 4,000 break. It also does a really cool animation, guys, where you see him stuff whatever target he fainted inside an Iron Maiden, which is pretty freaking cool. If no enemies are inflicted with faint with this true art, guys, on hit, it will heal himself by 60% and increase his own art gauge by 100 with a zero break. For his built-in abilities guys, he increases his defense by 20% when underneath a damage barrier. And at the start of a quest, for 20 seconds, he will grant allies a damage barrier that negates 3,000 damage. Normal attacks increase his own damage resist by 10% for 2 seconds. Nifumi also has a true weapon called Small Shield. It's a 5-star defense weapon with a skill that has a 45 second cooldown on it. And for 10 seconds, it will increase allies' targets defense by 60% and damage resistance by 40%. And will heal the target for 10% of the damage taken. For its built-in abilities guys, when equipped by Nafumi, increases his HP by 25% and increases his own art gauge by 1 per second. Its other built-in ability guys, heals HP by 4 per second. He also has another true equipment that possibly will come in with this update called Wrath Shield. It's a 5 star heal equipment, it's built in skill guys, has a 35 second cooldown on it and for 20 seconds will heal target's HP by 3 per second. If the user is light, it will kill target seal. It's built in abilities when equipped by Nifumi increases physical resistance by 25% and increases barrier gain from own arts by 4000 and increases defense by 10%. Moving on to the next unit is Melty. She's a water human unit. Her stats at max are 6,685 HP, 2,691 attack, and 2,548. Her slots, she's toting a 5-star magic, a 5-star support, and a 4-star magic. Her skill has a 13 second cooldown on it. It heals allies HP by 250 and increases allies art gauge by 10. Her skill guys has a 13 second cooldown on it, it heals allies HP by 250 and increases allies art gauge by 10 with a zero break. For her art guys, she does 15,000% water damage magic and for 13 seconds she will increase allies attack by 40% and art gauge by 3 per second with a thousand break. Note guys, this unit's art gen type is a type B and will not stack with any other art gen type B units. For a true art guys, she does 35,000% water damage magic and for 15 seconds increases allies fire resistance by 20% and reduces enemies damage resistance by 50% with a 1500 break on that skill. Her build and abilities guys increases seal resistance by 50% and increases allies art damage by 20%. And when near death, she increases skill cooldown recovery by 20%. Moving on guys to Philo, I hope I'm saying that name right. She's an Earth Demon unit. Her stats at max are 7,171 HP, attack 2,806, and defense 2,663. Her slot, she's toting a 5-star magic, a 5-star physical, and a 4-star support. Her skill has a 9-second cooldown on it. It does 2,300% Earth damage physical and permanently increases her attack by 20%, up to 100% with an 800 break. 
For our art guy, she does 20,000% earth damage magic, and for 15 seconds reduces the enemy's action speed by 20% and defense by 50% with a 1500 break. Her true art guy does 55,000% earth damage physical, and the lower the enemy's health, the greater the increase in damage of this true art up to 250% with a 3000 break. Moving on guys to the final unit we're going to be talking about today's video is Reptilia. She's a light beast unit, her stats at max are 6700 HP, attack 3094 and defense 2219. For her slot she's toting 2 5 star physicals and a 4 star defense. For her skill guys it has a 10 second cooldown on it. It does 15,000% light damage physical and increases art gauge by 15 plus if the skill crits increases the art gauge by an additional 15 with a 400 break. For her art guys she does 15,000% light damage physical and when this attack crits she increases her art gauge by 70. Only once per art she will do this. And for 15 seconds if an ally is redirecting damage, increases max HP of that ally by 33% and heal that ally by 150 HP per second with an 800 break. For true art guys it does 45,000% light damage, physical and for 35 seconds increases critical rate and skill cooldown recovery by 50% with a 1500 break. For her built-in abilities guys, she increases her crit rate by 20% and also increases her accuracy by 20% and if an ally is redirecting damage, increases damage by 60%. She also has a true weapon guys called Reptilia's Sword. It's a 5 star physical item. It has a skill with a 35 second cooldown on it. It does 4,500% light damage physical and for 8 seconds increases attack and skill cooldown recovery by 100% with a 700 break. It also has two built-in abilities when equipped by Reptilia, increases damage and critical rate by 30% and increases skill cooldown recovery by 10%. So those are the Shield Hero units guys. And just recently on Twitter, GS just announced you will be able to get these units to 120 by farming the event. So that is pretty awesome I'm very excited for this update. I personally want to try to get Melty. But what do you guys think? What unit do you want on your account? Let me know in the comments down below. And remember guys to keep on chewing and I'll keep on slaying. See all you guys in the next video. Bye bye.